In with Craig right now, a lot of concern about this red tide in Palm Beach and what could happen next, Craig? Yeah, and it's not unreasonable to think that we could see some of the effects of the red tide. And here's the reason why. The eastern Gulf of Mexico, the waters are pretty calm. This is where we've had the red tide bloom over there. But there's a current of water that flows from north to south in the eastern Gulf. This is part of the loop current. Now, as we know, there's also the Gulf Stream to the south here with a faster moving current that comes right up off of our east coast. So it's not out of the question to think that some of this red tide material is being put down into the Gulf Stream, then carried north. But it's been there for a while, so what's changed? The winds have come up, and the winds are blowing out of the east and northeast, so it's not unreasonable to think that the pieces of red tide that are flowing north in the Gulf Stream are being pushed towards the coast. Now, Palm Beach County, that's the closest part of South Florida that is uh, to the Gulf Stream, so distance traveled there would not have to be that far. And the northern Broward, of course, is uh, would be the second closest place. And as we get farther to the south, we're a little bit further away from the Gulf Stream. So we have to pay attention because we may have some issues with red tide here, especially as long as the wind is up and the wind's going to be up through next weekend. Here's our Broward camera this evening where we're looking pretty good. 83 in Miami, 83 Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 84 in Key West. Seven on the stickiness scale feels like 90. It's October and it still feels very hot. Showers blowing in the east breeze tonight all over the coastal waters. Some activity also blowing through the Keys. Most of these are showers. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a brief thunderstorm pop up. Tropics, it's still hurricane season. The time of the year now we watch is down here in the Caribbean. And it's bubbling. Uh, it's been bubbling the last several days. We'll keep our eyes on it. Nothing showing any uh, definitive sign of development down there, but we'll watch it. Other thing we're watching is Tropical Storm Leslie out there. Its forecast is slowly get stronger. It's going to be a big wave maker pushing waves out away from it. Our forecast for tonight looks like this is going to be a nice night. Some brief storms blowing by. Summer muggies, of course, and a low near 79. Tomorrow, breezy sun, quick showers blowing in off the ocean, high temperature near 90 degrees. For boaters, exercise caution, especially in the Gulf Stream. Seas up to six feet out there and choppy conditions on the bays. Taking us through the end of the weekend of the weekend, that onshore flow continues to blow. We'll see some showers on the breeze, the best chance on Thursday. The weekend right now, not looking bad.